Hello, Fort Stewart and Hunter Army Airfield communities. I'm Colonel Michelle Monroe, the Wynn Army Community Hospital Commander. And I'm Lieutenant Colonel James Cobb, DENTAC Commander for Fort Stewart and Hunter Army Airfield. And I'm Major Jeff Washburn, the 3rd Infantry Division Senior Physician Assistant, Rock of the Martin. We're here to talk to you today about the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. This outbreak has caused much concern across the world. I want to reassure you that there has been no diagnosed cases amongst our community, both here at Fort Stewart, Hunter, as well as any deployed soldiers. So this is a great sign that we are taking care of ourselves. The best way to take care of yourself is to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 to 30 seconds. Antibacterial disinfected is also a good solution if soap and water is not available, but it is not the best way. The best way is to use soap and water for that 20 to 30 seconds. Major Washburn, can you tell us a little bit about the signs and symptoms that we need to watch for? So while we know that there's a lot to be learned about this current outbreak, we, we know that it currently affects people in, in two major ways. One, most people get a fever, so a temperature of above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The other symptom that we know occurs regularly is a, is a cough or persistent cough. In the majority of cases, these symptoms mimic a bad cough or the flu. In certain cases, however, especially in older populations with pre-existing conditions, the virus may cause a persistent cough, shortness of breath, and painful breathing caused by a severe pneumonia. If you or your family members develop these symptoms and you have traveled within the last 14 days to an area of active community transmission of the virus, or have had close personal contact with a known case of COVID-19, we ask you to take the following steps. First, please remain in your quarters and reduce contact with roommates or other family members as much as possible. Second, please then call your primary care manager, unit-based healthcare provider, or the 24-hour-a-day available TRICARE nurse advice line that can be reached at 1-800-TRICARE, option one, for guidance on the best next steps. As a reminder, active duty service members can get over-the-counter medications at their nearest pharmacy. Major Washburn, what do I do if one of my family members is affected, but I have others that are not symptomatic? Ma'am, that's a great question. So the first recommendation, if family members in your household were exposed to the virus but are not showing symptoms, we ask that you keep your distance, essentially. Using the rule of thumb of a double arm interval or six feet between uh, roommates or family members. If that family member becomes symptomatic, we ask them to be further isolated and is being especially careful of respiratory droplet spread. If the family member who is sick must come in contact with household members, we ask that they wear a mask during those engagements. That will help reduce the spread of the virus. As a reminder, washing your hands and avoiding touching your face continues to be the best way to stop the spread of this virus. If respiratory droplets and touching your face is an issue, then how do we handle for any dental issues? Thanks for asking, ma'am. The main point for active duty service members, if you have an appointment currently and you're experiencing symptoms listed previously, please call the clinic to reschedule your appointment. If you're sick and you are experiencing pain or feel like you have an emergent problem, please call the clinic first and we'll handle it from there. So ultimately, we're really just trying to protect both the patients and our staff. That's true, ma'am. The important thing is if you're sick, please call ahead, either to reschedule or if you have symptoms, call ahead to, talk, to touch base with the clinics first, either off post or on, before you come into the clinic so we can ensure you're cared for properly. Actually, it goes for the emergency room as well because it allows us to prepare our staff for your arrival. So, in essence, if you have an emergency, we do want you to be seen. Just call ahead of time. And I want you to know that we are following public health and CDC guidelines and taking care of both you and our staff. Thanks for this important message, and I hope that you have gotten the information you need to take care of you and your family.